everyone! Today I'm going to help you complete SAM Project 1A Excel Module 8 working with treadlines and pivot table. You're going to download your file and then copy the expected file name, open your file, enable editing, let's replace this. There we go. So for our first step, we're going to go to the plans worksheet, scroll down and you'll see a little chart right here. Click on the chart. You're going to go to home. There's a copy button. So copy. And then in A18, you're going to paste. There we go. And now we're going to edit the information in this chart. So you're going to click on your chart, go to chart design, and then we're going to click on select data. And right here, all you have to do is just change the G's to an F. So there's this one and that one, and then click OK. And now you should have quarter one sales chart and then quarter two sales chart. Now on the same sheet, scroll up, and where it says 2021 advertising, you're going to select from J4 down to J16, and then hold down control button, and then select K4 down to K16. Now go to insert. We're going to click on recommended charts, and then we're going to click on scatter chart, which is the first one click OK. And now we reposition this from L3 to R16. There we go. Now let's edit this chart. We're going to name this add amount and plans sold. And then just click on a different cell to lock it. And then press on your chart again. We're going to click the plus. We're going to go to tread line. And then we're going to click on linear. There we go. All right, next you're going to go to the customer's worksheet and then press on the table, go to insert, go to recommended pivot tables. And the one we're gonna click on is sum of payment by state and press okay. We will rename this payments by state pivot and then click enter. Next, let's head over to design and then we're going to click the drop down thing. We're going to pick light orange, medium 12. So this one right here. Next, we're going to work on pivot table fields. So you're going to scroll down where it says values and we're going to drag payment down to values once more. So now we have two sums of payment, but you're going to click on this arrow for the second one. You're going to click on value field settings and changes to average and then click OK. And now we select both of our value fields, go to home and then under number, we're going to click on currency and then we're going to get rid of the two decimal places. Now we're going to change the headers of each of the value fields. It's the first going one to be V3. total payments. And in C3, it's going to be average payments. Wait, hold on. It's average payment without the S and then enter. Now you're going to click on the table and then go to insert and then go to recommended charts. You're going to click on combo. And then for average payment, you're going to click on the secondary axis and then you're going to click on OK. Here we're going to click on field list where it says show slash hide. Click on it. And that goes away and now you're going to click on this left axis right here with all the numbers because we will be editing them double click on it and then you're going to click on this the three bars at the end click on access options and then for maximum just change this to 1400 instead of 16 and then press enter and now we go to design and then where it says change colors we're going to click monochromatic palette 4 right there yes we're going to position this from d3 to j17 so right down here and now it's asking you to display the fields list again so there we go just press on it again all right next we're going to go back to the customer sheet and here make sure the table is selected we're going to go to insert click on pivot table click on from table slash range and table slash range should be customers, so just press on OK. 
Now on this new sheet, we'll be naming it customers pivot. Pivot. So to the side where it says table fields, we're going to do order location as column and then state in rows and then customer along with it. So like that. And then find years and drag it down to values like that. <clears throat> One more thing where it says filters, we're going to drag down plan type down to filters. And then we have a little drop down arrow right here. You're going to click on family and then press OK. There we go. And the last step here is to go to pivot analyze and then you're going to click on field headers to hide them. And that's it here. Now you're going to click on the orders worksheet and then we're going to select from G4 to J15. You can do it manually or you can come to this box right here versus G4 and just write J15, enter. It'll select it for you. Go to insert, go to recommend charts and we're going to select the one where it says sunburst and click OK. We're going to reposition this from G16 to K34, like that. We're going to rename the chart title mobile, mobile device orders. We're done here. Now we're going to go to the customers by plan worksheet, click on the table. Okay. And then where it says pivot table fields, scroll down and we need to get rid of right here. So where it says values, scroll down until you find sum of number of lines and then click the arrow. You're going to press on remove field. There you go. And then go to design. And where it says report layout, you're going to press on show in tabular form, just like that. All right, we're done here. Now you're going to go to sales pivot worksheet, press on anywhere on the table. When the fields come up, you're going to scroll down where it says values and you're going to drag total quarter one sales above total quarter two sales so that it's in order. Next, go to pivot table analyze under calculations. We're going to select fields, items, and sets. We're going to click on calculated field. This field will be named difference. The formula is my keyboard is a little faulty, so I'm going to copy and paste. Let's try Q2 sales, copy, minus Q1 sales. There we go. That worked. All right. Now in D1, the name of the heading is going to be plus slash minus space Q1 to Q2 and then enter. Now go over to locations pivot sheet. Click anywhere on the table when the fields pop up in rows where it says order location. We have to drag state below order location like that. Okay, go back to plans worksheet from D8, D8 to D10. The value is 50. Enter. So change from D8 to D10, change all the cost values to 50 and then enter. All right, since we changed values in the plans worksheet, we got to come back to sales pivot, click on the pivot table, go to pivot table, analyze, and we have to refresh the data in here. Now in the locations worksheet, we have to make this pivot chart different. So go to, go to design and then go to change chart type. The one we have to pick is stacked column. So go to column and then go to stacked column, this one the second one and then press OK and then go to change colors and monochromatic 4 should be selected. You're going to drag the bottom right corner down to G30. Now with the chart still selected, go to pivot chart analyze and then you're going to click on insert slicer right here. 
and then you're going to click on plan type and then click OK. Now you're going to drag the slicer in I9 and press on multi select. We're going to select family and unlimited. Here are my results. I got a 20 out of 30 and the thing I got wrong, it says I didn't do the currency format, which I completely remember doing. So, but you know what? For argument's sake, let's go back to state pivot. It says formatted by currency, zero decimals with the dollar sign here, right? Currency, zero decimals, it has a dollar sign. Wrong. As I thought, Excel is bugging. Okay, next. But I hope this video helped you, and I hope you get a really good grade as well. And thank you for watching. Bye!